Hi, this is Ron McFarland with Wrinkled Brain Network. And today's discussion is about an overview of uh, know before. Now, just one thing you should know, we don't sell know before. We use know before, but we don't sell it. We don't license it. We have no income coming from know before. This is just a tr plain, simple, straight up, honest review. So, um, Feel free to email me as well. Um, my email is ronmcfarland at wrinkledbrainnetwork.com. I have the information uh, posted under this video. Anyway, let's get going. Uh, subscription based, Snow Before is a subscription based cybersecurity training program. In our work doing cybersecurity assessments, quite a lot of the risk of course, with cybersecurity is essentially the lack of training that the common user has. A lot of the risk management frameworks, such as the NIST 800-171 or 800-53 or any of the other ISO frameworks, etc., uh, require some sort of ongoing cybersecurity training. And it's a smart idea. One of the things I, that we really like about Know Before, it, it is, it's a subscription-based platform, and it's actually pretty darn cool. I'll show you what we found. So, uh, Kevin Mitnick, everyone seems to know Kevin from the 1990s era, if you will, those in the cybersecurity realm. He's an excellent speaker and presenter. Yes, Kevin served some time as a hacker, and um, afterwards, he got into the white hat side, if you will. Know Before offers many trainings, a lot of fundamental security trainings, and a lot of, I would say, moderate level trainings. Nothing super in-depth, but it certainly will be enough to get your folks up to snuff. Now, there's three subscription levels. Level one is... Uh, pretty much straight video training. Some of the videos are three, four minutes long, a few of them, but most are about 10 or 15 minutes long. Level two ends up being a little more scenario based and that makes it a little more engaging, interesting, and uh, more focused topics, if you will, along with some quizzes. Level three is a little more targeted towards a C-suite and the C-suite level tends to get attacked a little bit more just because that's who they are. They own the king keys to the kingdom, if you will. So Know Before is a conglomeration of partners that contribute to the Know Before platform. And a lot of these partners I've I've used before, uh, things like Popcorn Training, Think HR is actually a good size organization. And there's a whole list of these folks that contribute content to the Know Before platform. Now looking at level one, I highlighted a couple. Now I know it bleeds off the screen, so sorry about that if I put everything up here. But there are things like, don't click on me. It's sort of a warning on not to click on certain things in the email. Ransomware, there's a couple of videos on ransomware. Resist the USB attack. You know, all those free USBs that used to be sitting around at, at uh, conferences uh, five years ago. You don't see them very much anymore. Think before you click. You know, a lot of informative, informative videos like that that would be good for an admin level, administrator, uh, use, common user level, if you will. Uh, level two, a little, a little more in-depth, uh, 10, 15, 20. There's a lot of 30-minute videos as well. I listed a couple of them on this screen right here. Um, common threats uh, down in the middle. In this module, you'll learn about strategies and techniques that hackers use to trick people just like you and like me too as well. Uh, and it reveals how each type is, of hack is, is accomplished. And that's actually quite a, an interesting um, Miranda story and Kyle story are both very interesting videos. Again, you see some quizzes at, at this level as well. And creating pass, strong passwords, certainly an, an essential. 
level three, the diamond level. So when you subscribe to the diamond level, you get levels one and two. It focuses a little more on the upper levels, the CEO, CEO fraud, uh, some other common threats as noted before. Again, with all of these, I'm jumping forward to this, but with all of uh, the subscription levels, you get to pick and choose exactly which videos you want. But one thing I, I really like about this tool, rather than going in and scratching my head and figuring out a whole project plan from stem to stern for cybersecurity training, they have this thing called ASAP, Automatic Security Awareness Program. And when you launch this, it's essentially a survey and it prompts you as the administrator for the weaknesses and strengths in the organization. It's about uh, 15 questions or so. And it builds a project plan from stem to stern. I, I built this project plan. It was, I think, 36 items, but it, even simple things like number one, engage your stakeholders. Of course, I would notify them via email if I wanted to, or if it was a surprise campaign. Each one of these is called a campaign. Customize your no before console. So at that point, I can pick and choose my users. I can import my users. Um, for example, a particular campaign could be only five or 10 people, or it could be the whole organization. If you have an organization that have 200, for example, or larger, you can do the whole organization should you wish to manage that many users. And you can pick and choose your videos that you want uh, related to the content that you've hinted at within the survey. It suggests videos, some of the default videos, but there's a whole plethora of videos that you can choose from. Now, uh, the dashboard is one thing that's pretty darn cool as well. Let me move the cursor here. The dashboard has multiple campaigns. You have email templates, which I like working with templates. So you don't have to recreate the wheel you know, from the get-go. You can use some of their templates, or you can actually import your own templates if you wish. It has templated landing pages. It has a whole lot of reports if you need to report to management. It cuts and slices and dices in any way you want to see how a user performs, the number of users, their scoring on any quiz items. Um, it uses, again, uh, general templates, for, and it has this thing called a mod store. What it is is, for example, if you're doing an email campaign, in the mod store you can select out, hey, just email campaign videos. It'll give you... 20 or 30 different videos, some being only a couple of minutes long, others being up to half an hour, depending on what you want. So you can then pick and choose it. In a way, um, where we have, by the way, we have the third level. So um, in a way, what, what goes on is I get to go, it's almost like a shopping cart where you pick two or three videos and then you check it out and then you import it into your know before platform, if you will. And then you can tag that for your particular campaign. So it's really easy to use. I, I think it's, I, I almost hate to use this word because it's overused, intuitive, but you get the point. It has things like vishing campaigns, USB campaigns. You can upload your own corporate documentation and push that out alongside with a an email campaign. For example, what would be good if you have an email campaign that you're rolling out, uh, don't click the link type of thing, you can also uh, insert as part of your documentation that goes along with the know before training, that portion of the IT documentation that talks about it, If you, should you wish to review that section with your employees. So uh, overall opinion is, yeah, definitely recommend. Again, we don't sell it. We don't license it. Uh, we have a license, but we're not selling it. We don't earn any profit off of it. I think it's a cost-effective solution in contrast to building your own cybersecurity program. Or if even if you inherit or beg, borrow, steal uh, cybersecurity um, training 
ideas. It could be a little kludgy, a little dated. This presents a really clean interface and it's easy to set up. Again, we don't sell it, so this is an honest opinion. Ron McFarlane with the Wrinkled Brain Network. Feel free to contact me and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much.